This street in Independence Park is lined with classic Chicago house styles. Bungalows, farmhouses, Victorians, and this one, a farmhouse with the simple roof, nice front porch, and the elevated first floor. This to me says Chicago. And the seller is somebody who really knows Chicago and Chicago neighborhoods. Let's go talk with her. I'm with Elaine Soloway, the seller of the house. Elaine, you know classic Chicago neighborhoods. Absolutely. You wrote a memoir about That's growing correct. up on Division Street, and you've lived all over the city. Tell me a little bit about how this neighborhood relates to your image of a classic Chicago neighborhood. Well, Dennis, what I loved about Division Street was its vitality, that whatever time of day there were people on the street, there were children, we, the kids played outside, so it was, that's always been the kind of neighborhood I've tried to emulate. And this neighborhood here is so much like it because we have kids of all ages on bicycles and babies and buggies. And the other thing that's similar is we have transportation really close by. On Division Street, we had streetcars. It's probably, you're too young to remember, but- Thank you had, for saying that. We had the Green Hornet and, uh, and other streetcars. And um, here in Independence Park, we are a block away from the Metra, the Blue Line, which takes you to O'Hare in 20 minutes, and uh, the highways, so you can get anywhere in the city. So I have that kind of feeling of being really accessible to anywhere you want to go. It is, that's a unique spot where Absolutely. the three forms of transportation right. come together. That's this way, and in the other direction, just a half a block, you have right. a very beautiful park, Independence Absolutely. Park. Well, when I was growing up, we had Humboldt Park, which is an exceptional Chicago park. Mm -hmm. But Independence Park has been, has given me the same sorts of amenities because we had a dog, and every morning at six o'clock, I was part of the dog group, and we would let our dogs off leash, and the dogs would play and the people would gossip. So it was just, it was a fun way to meet everybody. I met all of my friends from being in the park there. You really describe a wonderful feeling, a real classic Chicago neighborhood, Absolutely. as we've said. You got here 13 years ago. Correct. Mm -hmm. with your husband. Correct. You're now alone. Yes, right. Um, and moving downtown to get an even right. more urban husband feeling. Husband and a dog. We husband gold, and a dog, golden yeah. Golden Retriever, right. Mm -hmm. So now moving farther downtown, getting a more urban Absolutely life. Absolutely, right. What are you leaving behind? Well, I'm leaving behind some wonderful neighbors. They were absolutely marvelous to me during the 13 years. Um, leaving behind a, a house that I, I pray will be loved by a family like we loved it. I pray that they'll have children and most important, a dog because um, this house is built for a dog. We have a fenced-in backyard. They'll have all kinds of pooches across the street at 6 a.m. in the morning or whenever they want to go. So this house is ready for another family, and I'm ready for a different life. I can envision that family and the dog spilling down these stairs in the morning, these nice original wood stairs with the great banister, down into the living room, which has a great amount of light from the big windows over the porch. You've got the great old original wood floors that we love to find. From the living room, there's a dining room off to the side, and then you go into the kitchen. The kitchen is bigger than you'd expect in a house of this vintage because there was an addition put on. You might be doing some updating, the cabinets are a little older, but you've got kitchen and breakfast room right there. Off to the side, there's an office. And then from there, you can spill out again, out onto the deck and into that nice big backyard that was really made for kids and dogs. On the second floor, you have three bedrooms, the two smaller ones in front, and then this quite large master in the back. That's the result of that addition that expanded the kitchen as well. So what you've got is a nice big space, far larger than you'd expect in an older house like this, with the volume ceiling, nice view out over the yard from these sliding doors that can open up and bring in the breeze. You've got a big dressing room here, bath here. There's a second bath in the hall there. You're likely to update the baths as well as the kitchen when you come, so bring some ideas and don't forget to bring the dog.